Hey, what's up, you guys? Just want to share this with you. Um, I was just in place of just some deep thought, um, just thinking about things concerning today's music industry and creators and creatives alike, and just the immense talent that we have um, here in the U.S. and around the world. You know, just so many amazing, talented, innovative male and female musicians who are just brilliant, you know, in what they do, you know. And it's, it's just a beautiful thing to see all this immense talent that we have, you know. And so I just want to share this with you. I've been playing for about 20 plus years. I'm 31 now. I started playing when I was eight years old. And um, I remember when my mother bought me my first keyboard and um, as a Christmas present. And I remember picking out um, the notes on the keys. And by the time I got to fourth grade, um, the music teacher would teach me my first triad chords and they would try to teach me how to read. It was hard for me to learn how to read at first, but it wasn't until I got to high school where I started to understand at least the basic fundamentals of theory, you know, because pretty much everything I did was pretty much self-taught, just looking up to musicians who were older than me um, and getting some advice from them, some pointers from them and applying it to my practice and listening to the tapes and CDs and just applying all that to my own practice. And as I grew older, you know, being able to stretch and flex my imagination to create my own sound, my own style um, as a musician, as a songwriter, as an arranger, as a singer myself. And so, um, and so I really feel that authenticity is something that, that really should be, you know, encouraged in today's music industry here in the 21st century. Because right now, um, it's hard to tell who is who, because these days, um, it sounds like um, the same producer, you know, um, when we're hearing A-list artists, you know, on the radio, um, streaming and things like that, um, on these different streaming platforms and things like that, we're hearing A-list artists today, and it's hard to tell who is who because it sounds like everything is done by the same producer. And um, on ballads in particular, um, it's like I'm hearing the same piano player on these ballads that we have today you know, here in the 21st century. And so for me, you know, I'm constantly listening for something that is different and unique, something that nobody has ever done before. I'm constantly li listening for something innovative and fresh, you know? And so I feel that authenticity is something that really should be encouraged in today's music industry, you know, because there's so much immense talent all over the world. There's just so much rich talent that we have, you know, so many amazing male and female musicians and singers who are just uniquely different who stand out of the crowd who are just who just have something different to present you know and so i believe that each and every one of us are here to present something different and unique we're all here to bring something different to the table you know we all have something to contribute and so much like a buffet you know and so not everybody likes chicken you know there are some people who prefer steak fish things like that. You know, there's some people who prefer organic stuff, you know, and so you got to have a wide variety for people because everybody has different tastes, you know. And so all the reason why I really feel that authenticity should be encouraged in today's music industry, you know. And so, you know, of course, you know, it's about making money and things like that. Everybody wants to make money. Everybody wants to be, you know, successful. Everybody wants to make a living, a decent living for themselves. You know, and so I really feel that, you know, there's a way to do that, you know, by encouraging, you know, authenticity, because each and every one of us has something different to present, you know, each and, every, each and every one of us has something different, you know, to bring to the table. And so, you know, I believe that there are people who still want authenticity, you know, that, that there's still, you know, a number of people, you know, across the country and around the world who still want authenticity, you know. And so, and so I really feel that authenticity should really be encouraged, you know, to be able to stand out of the crowd, to be able to be different, you know, to be able to, you know, do what's in your heart and make your own contribution, you know, and, you know, and I, I really believe that authenticity is a beautiful thing, you know, and so, and so I really feel that, you know, that today, you know, there's so many amazing musicians, male and female musicians, but they have no platform, you know, they have no place to be able to showcase their talent aside from YouTube, aside from Instagram, aside from Facebook. But as far as, you know, all these, you know, different streaming outlets like Spotify and Apple Music and things like that, um, 
all these different, you know, outlets, all these different musical outlets that we have. And so um, I really feel that, you know, there's a lot of great talent, but they have no place to really, you know, have a platform to be able to showcase and demonstrate, you know, what it is that they have to bring to the table, what it is that they have to contribute to the world. And so, you know, I really feel that, you know, the music industry should should keep their ears open, you know, especially during this time, during this time, during this pandemic, you know. And so the music industry today, during this time, during COVID time, during Delta time, the music industry today is trying to figure out what to do. You know, they're trying to figure out, you know, how to navigate through this whole thing, through the situation. They're trying to figure out, you know, what to do next. And so I really feel that the music industry should be open to listen to, you know, to different musicians, you know, different singers, you know, who have something different and you need to bring to the table. Because, you know, not everything is going to be pop. Not everything is going to be trap, you know. And so all the reason why, you know, authenticity should really be encouraged, you know. And so, and even as musicians, it's important to develop your own musical voice. It's important to develop your own style. You know, don't just listen to just one or two genres, you know. And so for me, when I was growing up, um, because I'm also a Christian as well, um, all I listened to was gospel music. But it wasn't until I got to high school where I learned that it's okay to listen to different styles of music. Because in listening to different styles of music, it made me a better musician, you know. And so if you want to get better, if you want to get to the next level in your musicianship, you have to be willing to learn as much as you can and absorb as much information as you can so that you can be able to use your imagination and create your own thing, you know? And so I really believe that that's important. And so by the time I got to high school, I developed a love for jazz. I developed a love for, for funk, for, you know, R&B, particularly 90s R&B music. Um, I remember um, growing up and hearing um, some of that music um, growing up and revisiting some of that music and um, doing research and things like that and listening to all these different styles of music made me a better musician, you know? And it really helped me to be even more creative, you know? And and it's a beautiful thing, you know, to be able to, you know, develop your own musical voice, you know? To be able to study and develop your own musical voice at the same time, you know? And so I really believe that that's something that should really, you know, be encouraged in today's industry, you know? And so here in the 21st century, you know, I really believe that, you know, I have a feeling that authenticity is slowly but surely, you know, making a comeback, if you will, you know. And so I really feel that today, you know, that artists, you know, should really, you know, be, be true to themselves, you know, to just be yourself, you know, to do what's in your heart, you know, do something different, something that nobody's ever done before because the world is waiting for something new to happen, you know, and so, and, and also, you know, to encourage the next generation as well, because I believe that this is something, this, this should be a generational thing. Authenticity should be a generational thing, something that should be encouraged from generation to generation, you know, and so, because we all, we all have something different and unique to bring to the table, you know, and so this is something I really believe because each and every one of us are creative. Each and every one of us have something different to present, you know? And that's something that should really be encouraged in today's music industry. And so I really feel the authenticity should really be encouraged, you know? And so that's why I feel, because, you know, because the world is constantly looking for something different and unique. And so um, to give an example, um, for me, um, being on social media, um, to be able to meet musicians from different parts of the world, musicians and singers from different parts of the world. And what's beautiful about that is that, you know, the same respect I have for them, they have the same respect for me, which is beautiful, you know. And so it's just a beautiful thing to know that, you know, to know that you're here, that you have something to present, and that, you know, and that it works, you know, and that what whatever it is that is on your heart to present, you know, it'll work, you know, and so, and so we all, you know, we all get nervous about what it is that we have to present, you know, we all feel something, you know, in our bellies, you know, um, we all feel a sense of ner 
nervousness, you know, when it comes to, you know, presenting something that is different, you know, that we consider to be different, you know, and so, um, and so there's always a little, you know, nervousness, a little, um, insecurity, you know, and so, um, and so I believe that that serves as a purpose, you know, to keep yourself humble, to keep yourself, you know, grounded, you know, and so, and so, and so once you stay, you know, once you stay humble and grounded in what it is that you do, and, you know, and you really believe in this thing with all your heart, you really believe that this is something that you have to present, you know, that this creation is your baby, that this is something that is special to you and that you want to share it with the world, and it's going to work, you know, it's going to work, you know. And so if you believe it in your heart, if it's something that really makes you happy, it's going to make somebody else happy as well. It's going to encourage somebody else to be creative as well, to be able to explore, you know. And so that's a beautiful thing, you know. And what's also beautiful is that, you know, all these different people, all these different men and women that I meet from different countries, different continents, what's beautiful is, you know, is how they accept American musicians who stand out of the crowd, you know, who are authentic and how they want authenticity, you know, how they want someone who is different, you know, and that's a beautiful thing, you know, and, and I get so much support and encouragement from people from other countries rather than my fellow Americans here, you know, and so and so I really feel that, you know, we really need to encourage each other, you know, in, you know, the music industry, you know, as musicians, as singers, you know, because we all have something different and unique to bring to the table. And it's all part of making the world a better place. I believe that we're all here to help try to make the world a better place, you know, to inspire the next generation, you know. And so I believe that's why we're here, you know, and, and so we have something different and unique to bring to the table and to encourage the next generation as well. And so... That's what I believe, and I feel that authenticity is something that really should be encouraged. You know, authenticity is a beautiful thing. You know, to, to be able to stand out of the crowd, you know, for people not to compare you to somebody else, but for someone to look at you like you are an individual, you are an original, you know, you are different, you know. There's something about you that is different. You know, there's just something about you that I like that's different about you. You know, that's why I want to hear somebody say to me is that, you know, there's just something about you. There's just something about your style. There's something about your approach. There's just something about you that's different, you know. And so that's a beautiful thing, you know, to to stand out of the crowd and just be yourself, you know, to just to just do what's in your heart and make your own contribution, you know, and present what it is that you have to the world, you know, and I believe that's why we're all here, to make our own contribution to help make the world a better place, and so authenticity is key, and I really believe that authenticity is something that really should be encouraged in the music industry, because authenticity is a beautiful thing. It says so much about you as an individual, as a creator, and as an overall individual. It just says so much about who you are as an overall person. And that's a beautiful thing, you know. And so that's why I feel, you know. And so I hope you guys got something out of this. This was just, just something that's on my heart. You know, um, I'm an authenticity advocate. And it's something that I believe in. And I really believe that we all have something different to present, you know, to the table, you know, and so I really believe that that's something that really should be encouraged, especially in this time, you know, during the 21st century and moving forward, you know, for generations to come, you know, and so that's what I believe. And so I hope you guys got something out of this. And so you guys, may God, may God bless you, may God keep you. I'm looking forward to doing much more videos soon. And um, I'm just excited about moving forward, you know, about what's to come next. And so May God bless you. May God keep you. You guys take care. Peace.